hello guys uh, welcome back to the channel and this is the next problem problem number 443a and the problem link is slash problem slash 443 slash a so the problem name is antenna and letters and so recently antenna has found a set the set contains consists of small english letters and then carefully wrote out all the letters from the set in one line separated by a comma he also added an opening curve bracket at the beginning of the line and a closing curve bracket at the end of the line unfortunately from time to time and then would forget writing some letter and write it again he asked you to count the total number of distinct letter in his set so this is an repeated problem we have did earlier so we have you just know if we want to count the distinct characters in a set or distinct any instance of object in a set then we we can use letters so the input is the first and the single lines contains the a set of letters the length of the line does not exceed 1000 it is guaranteed that the line starts from an opening curve bracket and ends with a closing curve bracket between them small english letters are listed separate by a comma each comma is followed by a space so uh, the uh, um, numbers are also uh, of small english letters and they are also separated by a comma and each comma is also followed by a space so you have to print the single number of distinct letters in an antenna set uh, okay so i think what we can do here is that you can just dive straight into the code no need of extra explanation i think because it's a very basic problem and you just have to do some sort of string manipulations and then you have to apply set to count the number of distinct characters so uh, one thing we can also do that but yep no problem you can try various approaches for solving a problem so i might be problem uh, solving the problem and one approach you might have some another approach that is also correct so yep, that's that's all about uh, problem solving you have multiple approaches and you are also looking for various solutions to expand your mind so that's all the stuff so what i'm going to do here is that you can just then put the string here and what i can do here is that you can start replace and you can replace this character by uh, this and you can also do one thing that you can replace this and what you can also do is that you can also replace this comma space with an empty string so let's say what what let's print out and let's check what does s prints exactly for this if it uh it begins i okay so took out all the characters after space so okay what we are gonna do exactly here so yep so this line has to, has to be removed as it removes all my semicolon okay so i think um i start replace for target character is not working correctly okay okay so what we are gonna do here is that uh, my replace uh, method does not work exactly i think but why it does not work okay sorry sorry replace uh, i think that should work without checking i cannot guarantee how oh, it is a legal repetition which type of repetition what is that dangling meta character i was not getting that error earlier okay So, ok, 
okay no problem what we are gonna do here is that let me just think out some other way to exactly check how we are gonna solve this so that's an easy but i thought something else to get to the solution but that solution that replace method is not working correctly oh okay so the input is not okay sorry sorry so you see that the input is not correct because we have not used a c dot next line that is the problem here no issues man we can just do it so yep let's see now yep so that works that was i was thinking why it is not working so yep let's just uh, trim the up okay so that works finally and what i did here is that i replaced all the uh, bracket and the spaces and now you have just single character with all the elements in it so like if i uh, input the string sunit then you can just take out all the characters yep so that is an easy way to find the just uh, extract the character from the string as you do not um, have to parse and check for spaces and extra things so what we are gonna do here is that we have got set of some character and then this character set equals to new link dash set i think uh, okay so this set has not been imported so link dash set yep so what we are gonna do here is that we have to add you add his dot carrot at i so this problem solved you can just print out out character dot size so finally the problem is completed and you are good to go three two and for the null characters okay so i think that is very great okay that is also solved i think yep zero yep so yes finally the internal letter is solved i was uh the mistake i did here is that i did not use next line so the input was not uh, uh not correctly uh, stored in the string s so that was my uh like how I took more time in solving that problem. So that's a silly mistake. Sorry for that. And yes, it is running on test 3 and running on finally running on test 3 only. Are we gonna stick or are we gonna pass this? Okay, we are passing it. I think there the string has a heavy length or not okay the length of the line does not exceed 5000 10000 so yep the finally the solution is accepted and it's 157 so yep that's all for today uh, great guys keep learning and keep sharing so i will also be adding the videos for the lectures about the algorithms and the data structures i am covering i will be covering soon so yep i am thinking about a strategy to implement that but till then it is uh, youtube is the only medium i am communicating with you all so yep guys bye bye good night